Hi hey guys, welcome, welcome. We are going to do some fun stuff today. It's a little lighter project than some Saturdays, but I planned ahead just in case I was tired when I came home to have a nice light project day. And to tell you the truth, I'm kind of glad I did because I am a little tired, so. But we're gonna make five cards, uh oh. We're going to make five cards today. They're two different deco large sets. It seems the time of year to be showing the galoshes because spring rain and all that, you know. So we're going to do galoshes. And then we have these two beautiful, beautiful heart cards. So we're going to do these two today. So that's what we'll be up to. Mom's doing very well. In fact, incredibly well, given her overall health status and the fact that she has been through a significant, really significant surgery. She is up and bopping around that house with her walker. I tell you, I had to pretty much chase her down with a water bottle and her and her um, support socks. <laughs> he was just not liking that. And she's getting well enough to be complaining about the doting. <laughs> She'd say, Debbie, you're a pain. And I told her, before I before I ever got there and then reminded her when I got there. Now, when you begin to get irritated with me, I want you to remember every time you get irritated that I'm irritating you because I love you. So if I'm irritating you a lot, then you need to remember I love you a lot. <laughs> and I was having to remind her of that by the time that I left late Thursday night, that if I was really managing to irritate her, then... I must really be loving her a lot. <laughs> She'd say, you're a pest. You're a pest. <laughs> I know, I know, and I'm so good at it. <laughs> so today she chased my sister out of the house. Go home. She lives next door. She said, you go, you go home for a while. I'm tired of being doted on. <laughs> Well, Gail said she'd disappear for a while and wander back up there after a while. But, uh, <laughs> she must be feeling pretty good if she's already irritated with us telling her she has to drink water and do those things. <laughs> Don't stop praying. We're still in a bit of a risky time because they said that um, her chances of having a heart attack or stroke after this procedure were enhanced. I, don't, I think I told you, but I don't know. She um, she has AFib, per, um, what do you call it, persistent AFib. So her heart's always in AFib. So she doesn't have very great circulation. And so that was one of the risks of having the surgery was that, you know, she had a much enhanced chance of developing a, a stroke afterwards, but we're getting her to drink lots of water and she's up and moving a lot more than anybody thought she would be at this point. So all of that helps her a great deal. I will tell you that she has told me more than once that she is certain that the prayers from people have made all the difference because she was prepared for this to be way worse. And to this point in time, she hasn't had a single twinge of pain. That's what she reports, that she doesn't hurt at all, not at all. And that um, while she gets tired a little bit easier, otherwise she feels just fine. So that's amazing. Hi, Glenn. Let's take a look at what you're going to get in this really fun kit today. So we have the, this is all from Springtime Wishes. I love this set, and we still had quite a few of them on the shelf, so I decided 
to start working on this before our new springtime ever came in. And I'm actually having a really fun time working on these. This one is called Springtime Wishes Deco Large with All My Heart. And then, hi, Mary. Hi, Rob. Hi, Kathy girl. I realized just now I hadn't said hi to everybody. Annette and, and, and Diane, and Glenn, and Adeline, Kathy girl, and Catherine. And I say, oh, Jane G is up there. Yep, there's Jane G. Uh, excuse me? Betty Conklin. Betty. And um, I hope I got everybody. If I missed anybody, please don't be offended. It's just my quick reading. <laughs> so welcome, everybody. It's going to be fun today. Here's our other one. This just seems like the right time of year. You know, March, you get your... It, depending on when your freeze is over, you get your gardening boots out and you start working outside and, you know, yet it's still every bit early spring. So the rain, the gloshes, it just seemed like the right time to do that. And um, so we're doing the springtime wishes gardening gifts with the pretty blue galoshes. In your kitchen, we're going to make five cards. Three of them are five by seven. Two are European A6. You'll get the envelopes to those, of course. You're going to get several sheets of Mary. You're going to get a, five, a seven by seven and two seven by seven silvers. Two European A6. You're going to get a sheet of foam pads. And you're going to get two extra pieces of paper that I added to the kits. I love this um, blue shimmer. I believe this is called Bay. I'm not certain. It may be Bay or Lagoon, but it's um, in the shimmer paper that we have, which is a, it's a lightweight working pearlescent paper. It's beautiful. If you were ever familiar with a glimmer that they sold at Hot Off the Press, this is similar to that. In fact, it's the same brand. It just, we called it shimmer too differentiate ourselves since they had the name Glimmer trademarked. And here is a nice sheet of, this is from um, Craft Perfect, this dark green cardstock we're going to use. So that's what's in your kit. Um, hmm. Oh, I was going to say, I thought there were some rhinestones. It was in my hand. You also get a sheet of rhinestones. So, hi, Sharma. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> so I'm kind of tired. Well, not only was it more movement that I'm used to, to be up running around. I, my mom, it's been years since I stayed all night at my mom's house because she's only 60 miles away. So we usually go up for the day and it's a day trip. But um, I had forgotten just how uncomfortable her guest bed is. It's like a sheet of concrete. <laughs> it's like laying on, a, on concrete. So at midnight, the first night I was there, I was placing an order to Amazon for egg crates and a mattress pad. And <laughs> when I, they, they're there now and they're actually airing out and getting ready for me to use them. So I, um, when I go back, I will sleep better than I slept at mom's house. <laughs> oh. now, the extra movement is very good for me. Don't, don't get me wrong. It has been very, very good for me to have to be up and around and moving more. I just, I'm not used to cooking three meals a day and cleaning up after three meals a day. And, you know, I'm used to more sedate activity and chasing her down and <laughs> doing the things I've been doing, but it's been good for me. She's doing great though. Okay. This is a deco large kit. I'm starting with the hearts. I'm going to use as usual. I will be using my base that comes with this. I'm going to use my heart or my heart cardstock as one of my base pieces. And I'm going to use the most complete image there is 
on the image sheet for one of my for as one of my bases. You will recall that Hunky Dory assumes that this will be one card built up very largely and in keeping with my normal philosophy i prefer to get three cards that are built up more moderately because i want my money to go further and so that's what we're going to work on today oh you know what though i'm mistaken because i only made two out of this i'll tell you why i only made two that and that these two will look more richly um, more richly um, layered than I'm used to. When I, I did the first sample, or I laid it out at first with just with all three, and they just looked a little bit skimpy. So I went back and did this again and decided that instead I was only going to put two cards together out of this kit instead of my normal three. So let me go back here and just say we're only going to do two this time. We'll use our cardstock base and we'll use our we'll use our um, most our our base layer. Okay, so I'm just going to start breaking up pieces between the two. I want the most foil of the the most complete image on this one that's on the cardstock because then it will be foiled. The cardstock itself is not foiled. So by adding this big foiled image there, I get that beautiful foiling on both cards. And now I'm just gonna start breaking up my pieces <clears throat> between the two. I'm gonna... 75 at wow, 75 sounds nice. It's a little bit sunny here, but it's kind of sunny interspersed with little rain showers, which is fine. That's kind of what it does this time of year here. Okay, I'm going to break up all these extra pieces. And I'm going to try and kind of divvy them between the two cards. There are a lot of floral pieces to this kit. <clears throat> So what I think I'm going to do here, just to make it quick and easy, is I'm going to, I have taken my, I have my base over here. I have my most complete image. Then I have these two larger pieces. I put all of that with my cardstock. Now I'm going to take all the smaller pieces. I'm going to lay them out next to this heart here. I'm going to start layering them up and just make sure that I get a nice ring around this card since I have so many on, I'll have so many on the other one already. Once I get a nice layer all the way around, I'll take any extra pieces and move them to the other card, if that makes sense. That's my thought here on what I want to do. <clears throat> So I'm going to quickly build this up. Let's see. What did I do with my, there's my squares. Okay. Who can they, huh? Hi, Annette. No. I couldn't hear what you said. You're not looking at me. Hi, Inez. Welcome, friend. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to start over here. And let's just put a few foam squares here. I think just in the interest, no, I can't do that. Look over here in the boxes for me and see if there's a set of those, the cheaper roll of foam tape and the bigger squares. <coughs> what boxes? Over here on the side to see if there's another one of those sheets of the bigger squares. Ah, somebody has 
I need my garbage can from over there too. Everything's moved around. The little well, that's okay. The little ones, what I was looking for. Thank you. <laughs> Good girl. Actually, I'm glad you were working on your kit. That's awesome. Okay. All right, I'm going to put this down with some foam squares right over the top of this pretty base layer. Then we're going to put these two bigger pieces on. It would be right here in one of these boxes, honey, if I have one. Check that box right in the middle. Pick that stuff up and see if there's one in that box. Okay. Okay. I don't have all of my ordinary supplies right here at my fingertips because, as Bryce said, I hauled a whole bunch of stuff up to my mom's and then I was just too tired to work on it. Hopefully this week will be much easier and less stressful, though, so I'll be sleeping better and this week I'll get some stuff done. Um, somebody, Kathy Girly Girl, was saying that she was working on clearing her stash, that she's working on getting as much finished up as she can so she can clear out her stash. I think that is wonderful, Kathy Girly Girl. Super that you're doing that. Because the stuff doesn't do us any good unless we get it out and use it, right? So I love it when I hear that you're going through and clearing up your old kits and going through and using up some of your papers. I love to hear that. Love it. Great. <clears throat> That's actually one of the things I love about the kits is that you get just enough. You know, in these kits, we give you just enough usually to do the cards at hand. And we're not adding to the volume of things that you, that we all, not you have, that we all have. <laughs> that we all have stashed in our craft rooms. <laughs> So that's one way the kits are nice. You kind of get to work along with the group, make some pretty things, and then you don't, you're not adding a lot to your stash with the, with the kits normally. Every once in a while I have a super rich kit like that songbird that, you know, you're going to have everything you need to make the dozen cards we did and then way more, excuse me, but mostly the card kits are just enough, just enough to do what needs to be done. That's why they work out to, you know, two dollars a card or thereabouts is we're usually adding just enough. It is fun to do, isn't it, Sharma? I like this kit a lot. There's really some beautiful designs in this one. Like I said, I still had quite a few of them, so I just decided let's get those out and work on them. <clears throat> I don't necessarily have to feel like I have to work on the <clears throat> most recent release. I just work on what I want to work on. <laughs> and we have a lot in stock of lots of different things. So I have lots of choices. <laughs> we have more. Uh, that is a good question, Kathy girl. Um, I ordered those. I don't remember which order they were in, though. 
Um, I just went through Brittany's update from the last couple orders that she unpacked and they weren't in there. So maybe they're in the next order coming in because I did order those. So we have another one coming in soon. That's fun, and I, I, I love to shift those around. Yeah, they should be coming, Kathy girl. I'm not sure when, I, you know, I'm not sure why we haven't seen them yet, actually, but they text me a reminder to look at where the, make, make sure they didn't come in and just go straight into inventory. Usually we put everything into what's new Wednesday, even if it's restock. So, hi Pam, welcome friend. Construction glue. I know I said I'd do that. I'm not sure I did but I will check on it for you if you will text me that one too, honey. Construction glue. I remember talking about it now that you say it, but I, I'm gonna put this one on here, but I don't remember, actually, I don't actually remember ordering it. So I need to check on that one and get it into the next order for sure. So I'm not doing anything magical here, guys. All I'm doing is just going through and piecing some of these individual pieces into this next layer so that I get another nice build up there. And then these couple you've seen me push over to the side there. Those are the ones that I already have three layers on here. So I'm going to use that to layer up and build up the other image a little bit. Since I already have quite a few on here. That's what I'm doing. How's everybody else doing? Betty, you getting your cards made for your new bookstore gig? And everybody doing well? I didn't, um, I tuned in for just a minute on Margie's class on Thursday. I was in the middle of cooking dinner, so. I tuned in just long enough to say hi and give a basic report on mom and then and then disappeared again. But um, how did class go on Thursday? Did you guys have fun with that? Those sure are pretty cards. I did talk to Margie and say, let's tone down Thursday classes and make sure that we're only doing three cards so that it doesn't go quite so long. I did hear that it went pretty long, but from what I saw of it, it looked like it was really a great class. I peeled that one up because I have one to go under. <laughs> What's Pam doing? Oh, here's Elsie. Hi, Elsie. How's your grandchild doing? Elsie's had a grandchild in the hospital with COVID. Yeah. 
you think the copper sheet would work with large boxes that are in Brit's bark? Uh, yes, actually I do. Because they're made to go together. They're even called springtime wishes. So yes, these would be beautiful with those card boxes. Again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with those card boxes. It's just that when we ordered those kits last year, we got these card boxes. And then when we ordered this year's selections, they gave us the same card boxes. So we had just like way too many of them. <laughs> oh, excellent. That's what I wanted to hear. Thank you for the report. Awesome. Man, it just. Yes, and Margie did very well. A few more times, she'll be a pro. She gets so nervous, but she does a good job. But she really, she really stresses before she goes on. Okay, just about done layering this. Thank you guys for your patience. But I do like to explain why I do what I do here. We'll have. What did you say? Um, Pam sold 50 cards. Did you sell 50 cards, Pam? $3 a piece, and I sold about 50. Excellent. At $3 a piece, you were selling them very, very reasonably priced. You, could, you might get more than that for them, but the most important thing is that you were moving them on to new homes. And you can use your money to replenish your supplies and keep building, which we all like to do. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. What kind of an event was it that you were selling in, Pam? I'm sorry, I can't always see when the comments come by. So I'm probably asking something you've already answered. Oh, a gr your garage sale. Well, good for you. Wow. That's amazing. Well, awesome. <laughs> Talk about taking advantage of all the opportunities. That's really fun. I love that. <laughs> Very fun. Okay. This is working out beautifully to do this this way, guys. And again, let me just repeat how I made my choices here. I put the two bigger topper pieces. You'll see what I mean when you look at your sheet. I put the two bigger topper pieces together with the um, I, I layered this with the biggest, fullest heart. Then I put the two bigger pieces on. Then I took all the little pieces and layered them till I had a nice layering on this card. And I took the duplicates that I had that would have just raised this higher. And I moved those over and added those to this card that we had put the two bigger pieces on. And it's a really nice balance between the two toppers doing it that way and it was so easy what's Sharma doing can you back up then so I can see okay so I've got two really beautifully layered toppers oh boy that's way big job So we've got this one and this one all layered up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I just slid a card right off my table. Okay. Let's go ahead and put these together. I have my big crocodile here today. This is my... No, it's not my crop. It's my caterpillar, not my crocodile. Sorry, my caterpillar pro has the other ones at my mom's house. 
along with all the other things Margie couldn't find. <laughs> a ruler and that is a ton of hard work when you do an estate work. Ooh, big job. Big, big job. Okay, let's see. So this one's using this. This one's using this. Oh, yeah, I remember what I did here. Okay. This time I'm going to cover. Let me get my card bases out here. This is, Both of these are going to be 5 by 7 cards. So let me get two of those. And I'm going to put a piece of Silver Mary on here first. <clears throat> Thank you, Catherine. That's a lot of work planning for a yard sale. But it, isn't it nice? Doesn't it just make you feel like you're doing great things to kind of clear the excess and <clears throat> give yourself more breathing room? And it always feels like a cleanse, you know, sort of to do a yard sale and move out a bunch of stuff and then either make room for the new or just make more space period i do always it's a lot of work but i always appreciate it when we get the job done and we get stuff moved out a bit i got that just a little off so i trimmed off a tiny edge there flip this over and I usually use seven by seven, Miri. It leaves me this strip to, on my, I use seven by seven on my five by seven cards. It leaves me this two inch strip that I can either put this through my embossing machine and use this as a border. I can cut my greetings out of it. There's a lot of things I can do. Cut smaller die cuts out of it. Okay, once I've got that down, then I'm going to cut myself a piece of this green card stock that we included in your kit. And move my cards out of the way here. And I want this one to be four and three quarters by six and three quarters. That will allow me an eighth inch border on top and I did trim this ever so slightly which is throwing off my bottom margin just a tad so I'm going to take just a tiny piece more off to get a nice even border all the way around and now I have that that looks great Wow, she made a thousand dollars in her garage sale. That's a good sale right there. That's a dandy sale. Woohoo! <laughs> it's funny with the shop here because of the fact that we're located in a residential area. We have to be really careful about the number of people that we bring into specific events. We're allowed six a day, and I kind of stretch that when I do some of my events, but I try and keep it somewhat under control and keep my class sizes small here on site so I don't irritate my neighbors because, you know, you got to be a good neighbor. And so when I want to do a sale at the store, I do it in conjunction with a yard sale because everybody does yard sales. And so I do a yard sale and advertise that there's lots of craft supplies. <laughs> and then we run a sign from the yard sale back to the classroom. <laughs> and that's how I get away with 
having sales in our classroom without ticking off all of my neighbors. <laughs> okay, so I've got my silver down, I've got my green down. The next thing I want to do is I want to take the border off of my push out sheet. I've got this big, beautiful border across here. <clears throat> So take your border next. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to drop down my border a bit on my card. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to put a piece of this border here <coughs> and I'm going to let me go ahead and just cut this off at let's see we did we had five inches wide and we did four and three quarters. So now this one's going to be four and a half wide. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this strip from my cardstock to four and a half inches. And I'm going to cut a piece of this butterfly border to four and a half inches. I could actually cut two of them, two borders to four and a half inches if I want to. Two pieces four and a half inches wide and now what I'm going to do is I don't want my heart to be way up at the top of my card I want it a little bit more a little bit more buffer between the edge of my card and the top of my topper so I'm going to use a piece of my ribbon up here of my border up here at the top so I'm just going to put a piece of tape on this and go ahead and put this border down. Then I'm going to bump this cardstock right up against that border to move that heart further down on my sheet. So I'll position this where I want it. I really kind of want it just about an eighth down with an eighth on each side. That looks nice and even. Now I will take this one. I'll bump it right up against there and see how nice that's going to look. I'll put that right up against there and that's going to be beautiful. So I'm going to cut this piece here. I already have a half inch with that border. I believe that's a half inch. It might be a little bit more. Let's see how much I have in that border. I actually have five eighths in that already. So I've already had, I had a, my first layer was seven inches long. My second layer was six and three quarters. So I want this to be six and a half, including the border. So I'm going to lay a piece of border in here and I'm going to cut this to six and a half inches. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put this one down here. Are you guys catching how we're centering this card with its little border piece there? We're using the border to drop this down a bit. We still, as of the time we went on the air today, had a few of these. Uh-oh. Darn it. I did not mean to do that, but I'll take a piece of, uh, can I have some of those wet wipes from the end of the table, please? I don't think there's any over here. Darn it. I dropped it right on my card.
Thank you. I don't like it when I do things like that. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry. Chatting is part of what we do here. I just wanted to make sure you guys were catching this technique because if you go to make this, it's going to confuse you if you haven't seen what I did there. So the next thing I want to do is I really like this pink butterfly border along here. I think that's really pretty, and I think it would be really pretty up in here. So what I'm going to do first is I think I'm going to trim that just a bit because it's a little bit more than I want. And then I'm going to, so I'm going to trim a little off the edge of that. Just a little off the edge. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this at the purple line on the bottom. So I'm going to get some of that pretty pink butterfly border in here. Then I'm going to take this other piece of border and I'm going to come right in here with it. And what that's going to do is really draw the top of my card and the bottom of my card together to make them really look nice together. So I'm going to glue this one down. Hi, Karen. Welcome, friend. Hi, Ruth. Good to see you, friend. We're making this beautiful heart card. This is a um, um, Deco Large kit. But instead of getting three cards with this one, I opted for two because this particular card just looked a little too sparse when I made it with, when I made three cards from it. So I took that apart and went back and made two. And I like this much better. So just two cards out of this one. I'm going to bring this down a little bit because I want to allow some room for my circle there. I'm going to glue this right over the top. Put my butterflies at the top and almost at the bottom, not quite at the bottom. And I like the way that looks. And now I'm going to get this little greeting office punch out sheet. And it's going to say always in my thoughts. And I'm going to find what I did with my foam squares, which are up here. Toss away a couple little scraps there. I'm going to put foam squares on this always in my heart. <laughs> well, I will know if but Catherine from here on out, if anybody ever tells me to go to Charles de Gaulle Airport, that I don't want to go there. <laughs> hi, Karen. Did I say hi to Karen? I don't know if yeah. I did. Huh? I did? Okay. Well, better two hellos, Karen, than ignoring you, right? <laughs> okay I'm going to put this last time I actually put it down a little further I'm going to put it right across that border this time why? because I feel like it here we go come in a little bit please Here we go. The left side of your screen is the new one. The right side's the other one. <laughs> okay. So that's one of two in this set done. Let's grab our other one here. 
This time, we're going to use only the top of our blue. I am going to get out a piece of my silver 7x7 seven seven and my another of my another of my five by seven cards. Thank you. Thank you, Betty and Elsie. Mom is doing unbelievably well, Ruth. Oh my gosh. If you did not know that she just had major surgery, you would not know. She is incredible. Just incredible. She's up and down and bobbing around the house. I was going to scold her the other day for moving some heavy dishes off the table. And Margie's husband, James, was still there. He came up because um, I wanted to have an RN come in for the first couple days and just check and make sure that all was well, because, you know, I'm a nervous Nelly. And I wanted to have somebody come in for the first couple days and make sure that we were doing everything we should be doing and nothing more. And <laughs> you know what I mean? That we just were getting it, getting it right. And that she was doing okay because, you know, they just, they really reinforced over and over and over again with us, the very high risks of her having this surgery and told us all the many ways that we could lose her. So I just wanted to make sure that we did everything we possibly could to protect her. And I wanted to hire an RN, but I couldn't get an RN anywhere in Longview, Kelso that could come in because there's such a nursing shortage. And so James, Margie's husband, came up from Portland and checked in on her. And we... I had fixed lunch for everybody, and we were all sitting at the table. After lunch, Mom grabbed her plate and bowl, and they're not super heavy, but they're glass. They're not lightweight either, you know? And she grabbed one in her left hand and one in her right hand, and I said, Mom, don't do that. That might be too hard on your right hand. And James said, if she wants to do it, let her do it. If it hurts, she won't do it again. But she should be doing everything she feels like she wants to do. And I said, okay. And mom kind of har hard that she won. <laughs> and moved on to the sink with her dishes. Now, bear in mind, she got out at 11 o'clock. She got home about 1230. It was about one o'clock when we ate. So it was not even 24 hours since significant major surgery. She carried the dishes to the sink, rinsed them off and put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> and I stood by and said, okay. Um, my mom has stage four breast cancer and she had a radical mastectomy and they took all the lymph nodes from under her arms as well as the breast tissue and lots of other duct work and stuff there. And it was really a big, significant surgery. And when you factor on top of that, that she has other comorbidities that, and she's 84 years old, it is just amazing watching her bop around the place like a youngster. <laughs> She's amazing. I told you, my mom's a tough old bird. She is. I tell her that. She laughs at me. She says, I think I should be offended when you say that. And I say, no, you shouldn't. It just means that I know that you're the toughest woman I know. And she said, well, that part's true. <laughs> so James came and he was going to come for the first two days. And he was there for one day, and he said, 
Debbie, <laughs> if you want me to come back tomorrow, I will because that was our deal and I would definitely do that. But you said, I just can't help but think I'm taking advantage if I let you do that because you don't need me. <laughs> you don't need me. <laughs> Your mom doesn't need me. I knew she wasn't going to need me when I walked in and saw her with a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich sitting at the kitchen table with a BLD in her hand. I thought, oh, this is going well. <laughs> I will do that. Okay, Pam, I'll do that. Thank you for that. I, I will absolutely write down your phone number before I leave home to go back there this week. In mom's case, um, she, she was, there was a lot of concern about um, blood clot issues because she has persistent AFib also. And so, you know, if you really listen to what the surgeon had to say before the surgery, the surgeon really, really didn't want her to do it. I wouldn't tell her I won't do it, but the surgeon clearly had huge issues with the idea of doing this surgery for mom. And I take mom in there to see the surgeon on Monday to do the check up from it and I anxious to see what the surgeon has to say about her when the surgeon sees her because her color's good, her brain is clear, her she's strong. You know, you can tell that she's strong. I forgot to put the butterflies on that, so I just stuck the three butterflies on this one that I didn't last time. So anyway, so I'm going to keep that in mind, Pam. That's a really generous offer. And I will take your number because it will give me peace. <laughs> I have your number. I have James's number. And I have a CNA coming in at night because I'm a nervous kid. What can I say? It's my mom. I think sometimes my mom just goes out to prove that the world is wrong. You know, <laughs> she's stubborn too. <laughs> Bryce says, I come by that honestly. I was trying to come up with a way of being able to say uh, that other people have that, not me, but Bryce beat me to it. <laughs> She's tough and she's strong. She's just handling it all so well. And she's got such a good attitude. You know, you got to know that attitude is half the battle with some of this. This is looking like I don't have that trimmed off enough. Why is it looking like that? Because I didn't I have some on the back. <laughs> no, she will never go gently into the night, Karen. That is absolute truth. When the time comes, she says she's ready, but she also says she's not going till it's that time. <laughs> she says when the, when it's her time, she's ready to go, but it ain't her time yet. <laughs> Okay. Tough, tough, tough lady. <laughs> okay. But I will say once again, I said this earlier, but for those of you who may not be here, she says she also acknowledges that the prayers that everybody has sent up on her behalf 
are absolutely what is has helped her to do so well. She fully acknowledges that the power of prayer has definitely been on her side. And she thanks you all for that. Okay, now when we do this one, we've started out here, we've, we've covered our five by seven with a piece of silver mirror board. We've cut out a piece of our blue cardstock to layer on top of that. Now we're going to take this piece and we're going to put in some banners. I really like the way this worked out. I like, I put this one down. I'm going to say about a quarter, down a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch in. And then I used, remember when we said, if it's not going to show, it doesn't have to be there. So I used this piece of border and came out to the edge of my blue. So we're going to glue this down. It doesn't have to go under that. So one piece will do both the top and the bottom margins, right? These tags are nice. It says to someone special with all my heart. So I'm putting those down. I could put these on foam squares if I wanted. I didn't this time, but I could have. And now I'm going to use my border piece. I'm going to run a piece of border from the edge here to the edge of my topper. Oops, I may have cut that just a tad short. I think it'll still be okay. Okay. What's that? Grandson, oh, good. <laughs> That's a good grandma. We'll stop what she's doing and go and take care of baby doll because they need that. I cut my border just a little bit short, so I'm going to move this over just a tad so I don't have a gap because that would be better. I'll just move that over a little bit. Now I'm going to put the same kind of border on the bottom. Let's see if I can put this one better. Hold it where I want it. That's just right this time. And glue this down. Now I can either put this on some foam squares and raise the whole thing up, or I can glue it down. I'm going to opt to glue it down because I mail most of my cards, and I really don't want it to get too, too high because I don't want to have to use a card box. So I'm going to go ahead and I could absolutely, if this was going to be a hand-delivered card, I would absolutely put it on some foam squares, but like I said, I like to try and keep them from getting too, too high. We need just a couple of our little extra butterflies. We still have four left on our punch out sheet, our extra butterflies. And our butterfly cards will be completely finished. I put them this way through. You can put them any way you want. I 
How's our time, huh? Three o'clock. So we've been one hour and we're halfway through because we have finished one of two kits. Sometimes it doesn't take much more time to toss the card together once you get it layered than it does to make the card. So we're tracking well. Here we go. Here's our pretty card. I love these hearts. They don't, I mean, they could be Valentine's, but they don't have to be Valentine's. This could be any occasion. Okay. He says he, he doesn't think it would work well for Halloween. I would if you're in love with the witch. <laughs> Okay, I had a couple little pieces left over from this set. I'll probably pass that on to Susan. She likes all these extra greetings. And I can't possibly keep them all. So, okay, let's move to our next kit. This time we're doing galoshes. Let's take a quick look again at where we're going. We're going to make three from this set. We have one. This one I did with... Stickles, two, this one is without, this one's just with the foiling and it's beautiful, and three, I just, like I said, in the Pacific Northwest, especially when you hit March, it gets windy and it gets wet, so if you're going to have gardening, you better have galoshes, and if you're going to have galoshes, you probably should have a little rain, that's what the AB rhinestones are for. <laughs> to symbolize our rain, our beautiful Pacific Northwest rain that we love and no one else loves. <laughs> we love it. We need our rain. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to have three topper sets. This, this, the name of this again is Deco Large Gardening Gifts. I'm going to have three toppers to use. I'll have my main topper off of my punch out sheet. I will, don't throw that, Deborah. You still got lots of goodies on there. I have my cardstock one. I will go to my punch out sheet and I will find the one that has the most complete image. And in this case, the very most complete image is this one in the upper left hand corner. So we're going to take this off. Okay, I want my next most complete image, which I think would probably be this one. I want to put this on my cardstock because the cardstock does not have the foiling. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to layer it onto my cardstock. Oh. <laughs> They sound cute. What is the word? Margie uses a different word for galoshes. I don't remember. Um, I think it's the European word. What's the European word for galoshes? Margie traveled a lot when she was young with her family and spent a lot of time in European countries. I feel like coming on, I need to buy these kits. I'm not, you know, Kathy, you're talking to the wrong person to stop you buying the kits, love. <laughs> I'm going to do everything in my power to make it easy. <laughs> the 
this really is a, a wonderful kit, I have to say. It is a really fun kit. What do they call wellies? Thank you, Brenda. Wellies. Thank you. I don't I had never heard them called wellies until Margie started calling them that. Wellies. How do they become wellies? I don't know. I don't know where that comes from. Wellies. Usually Margie does all the kits that have wellies on them because she is about wellies the way she is about teacups. I tend to give those to her to do, but I decided to do them this time. Okay, so now I've got to start distributing. Huh? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to start distributing pieces between my three images now. And I'm just going to kind of go biggest to smallest. And I'll try to give everybody, you know, um, parts of the same parts. Like I want to make sure everybody gets something up on top for the flowers. So we'll do that. And I'm just kind of going from one to the next, making sure that these flowers on the top, everybody got a bigger piece. Now I want to make sure that this one gets something in the front, because both of these have these flower pots in the front, and this one does not. So I think I'm going to give this one the flower pots in the front. And I'm going to give this one actually this second flower pot in the front so it has a couple of layers then i'm going to give okay okay oh dear okay all right so i gave the red flowers to one, both of these and I gave both the pots and the yellow flowers to this one so it would have a little bit more dimension in the front since it didn't have as much as the others. Now I've just got these little flower bits and I've got a bird. Now this one, none of these guys really have the bird so it's not like I can give all of them the bird, give them all the bird. That's not what I meant, but <laughs> it's not that kind of show. It's not that kind of show. That's right. <laughs> Slap Lord Wellington up the head, up the side of the head with a welly. <laughs> I am just going to put the bird on one of them because I can't really be fair no matter what I do there. Okay. I'm going to give somebody these. Says in the UK, they have welling throwing Oh, really? That'd be fun. Hello, Susan Reed. <laughs> okay. Still trying to distribute evenly as much as I can. You know, at the end of the day, as long as they all look good, it really doesn't matter what goes where. But I try to make it as even as I can. <laughs> All right, now I've just got little pieces left. I'm just going to just kind of pop them on there. Everybody gets a few of the little pieces too. Just, oops, drop that one. There it goes. Just dropping them around on the different ones. We got pieces. <laughs> Give them all the bird, Kathy said. <laughs> oh. All right, what have I got left here? I have super little pieces. Now I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with the super little pieces. Sometimes, I just wait till I'm done and put them where I think they're needed. 
sometimes if they're ultra tiny pieces, I don't put them on at all. <laughs> That's the truth, guys. <laughs> so you guys decide. Sometimes I think the ultra small pieces are just kind of ridiculous. So, all right, we had a greeting left on there. That page is now done. Time for a drink. The Earl of Sandwich invented the sandwich. He wouldn't leave the gaming table and told his servant to bring sliced beef between two slices of bread. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and start layering these up. If you wanted to, Bryce, you could layer some of these up while I... He has a project, he says. So you guys are just going to have to watch me layer today because he is making a beautiful blanket for his daughter. I don't know if I told you that mom or that Bryce made my mom a very pretty ivory colored lap blanket for her recovery. I don't know that she's held still long enough to use it yet. But he sent it up to her just to say he loved her. And my mom was totally and completely thrilled with the gift. It's a good thing we've determined that Bryce is a keeper because if I ever left Bryce, my mom will keep him. <laughs> And so his daughter was looking at the blanket that he made for my mom and said, I want one because, you know, daughters are like that. So they went off to Joanne's, bought soft, big baby yarn. And he's over there making her a, a beautiful, we should show them the colors and stuff before we get off. So you can... Show them what you've been up to. But he's using three different colors of yarn, a variegated, a sparkle, and isn't there three? Oh, so you're only using two colors, variegated and sparkle? Well, there is three yes, there colors, are. But, but the sparkle and the plain are alternate. Oh, okay. Um, kind of aqua color. He'll, I'll ask him if he'll show it to you before we're done. If you guys remind me, don't let me forget. He'll let me forget. But it's pretty. He's over there crocheting along to make his daughter her soft, cozy, comfortable blanket. Didn't need to use your um, your massage thing tonight. Bryce got the most wonderful massage. Um, I don't know, kind of roller system. It's a it's an electronic device that goes up over your shoulders and then comes down and you put your hands in it to pull it into your shoulders and then it runs up and down and does a massage on your neck. Lauren, or excuse me, Jordan, our oldest, gave it to him for his birthday and it is a most wonderful device. My neck and shoulders are sore today. So I think I need one. I need to use it. Okay. I have a little bow here.
Oh, it doesn't it work great, Kathy girl? Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. Just about done with this first one. Oops, <laughs> except it's bouncing away from me. One last piece to put on. Okay. Look how nice and layered that is. And that's only one of three pieces, guys. Okay, set that aside. We'll get our others done here. Do this one next. Start with your largest. Go to the next largest. Layer that up next. Yeah, I had never heard of him before Bryce opened his package. And, man, that has got good use in this household already, hasn't it, Bryce? All three of us have used it. I was talking to your dad about it the other day. I asked him if he'd tried it. He said he hadn't tried it yet, so we might want to put it on him and see what he thinks. This would have gone faster with larger with larger foam squares, but you really need the smaller ones too, because there's a lot of little pieces in both of these kits. So since we had to have both sizes anyway, I thought well, we'll just go with the little ones when we put the kit together, but I'm really kind of spoiled now. I really like the bigger ones. <laughs> I like it to go faster when I'm layering up. This one's going to go together a lot faster, though, because they only have just a couple more pieces to go here. Now, here's one of those I have to really think about whether I want to put on. I'll try it just because you guys are out there and watching, but... If I was left to my own devices, I might very well skip this one. This is the little tiny bow that goes on the flower pot. I can cut one of these in half and get it on there, and I will, just because you're watching. But if I was not on the line with you, I... I would probably skip it. I cut one in half, and halfwise, I think I can get it on without showing. 
I am crochet on a pink. I don't know what that means, Elsie. Yeah, Bob is doing well, isn't he, huh? I mean, I, I think he is. Squirrels. Yep, he's still up feeding the squirrels and the cats and the, probably every other critter in the neighborhood. He rides along with Bryce and Teddy to the post office every day. He's taken a couple falls in the last couple weeks. Uh, okay. <laughs> But he's fine. He didn't hurt himself when he fell. Um, once his sock slid on the on the plank flooring when he was standing up from his bed, and he just they just slid out from under him, and he just popped his bottom on the floor, and he was still fine. He was fine from that. And then, but we got a little, a little um, skid mat for the side of his bed, so that couldn't happen again. And then, the second time, he went to get up in the evening, you know, in the night time to go to the restroom, and <laughs> he says he tripped over the man in his room. <laughs> yeah, the, the man tripped him. I think it's probably more likely to have been either his cat or his, Bryce found his cane right there by the, by the um, area where he fell when it was kind of stretched out on the floor. So he may have had his cane in his path and not seen it, of course, getting up in the dark. So he has the night light on in there, a the night light, AKA his Christmas tree lights that work really well. There's a night light in there, but he just didn't see it. That's we, you know, you have to kind of appreciate the humor sometimes. The idea of somebody coming in just to trip him and then disappearing was kind of funny. <laughs> Of course, we have those funny moments now and again. One day he fell asleep watching television. And when he went to sleep, they were, um, there was a show on, he likes Animal Planet, and there was a show on and they were wrangling alligators. And when he woke up, it was one of those, like either the conservation agents up in the main area or, um, Texas, I don't remember which one, but it was hunting season somewhere and they were shooting. And he wanted to know if Bryce heard them. He, the, the, the um, somebody was out in the backyard shooting alligators. <laughs> but Bryce came over to the shop and asked me if I'd been shooting alligators again and that I bet I needed to knock it off because I was disturbing his dad. I said, oh, okay, well, it might be bothering the other neighbors too, so I'll try it and lay low on that activity. But <laughs> I said, somebody's in the backyard shooting alligators. Today he woke up from a nap thinking that he had the switch to the chicken coop and asked Debbie if she wanted a chicken feather for her hair. <laughs> what was that from? Had he been watching something about? I have no <laughs> we were watching women's basketball, so I'm not sure where he got, where he got the, the switch to the chicken coop from. Yeah, I, <laughs> he thought he dropped it. He was getting up and looking on the floor. <laughs> it's so sweet, though. You know, we're not we're not picking on him. We love it. We just, you know, yeah. Sometimes you have to laugh because some if you don't laugh, you'll cry. You know, because some of it's a little tragic, but at the same time, you have to find the humor of things in life. And <laughs> What's that? Oh, the cat's, cat's name? Cat's 
The cat's name is uh, Buffy. It's um, Tabby. Yeah, I had to I had to eliminate one name to get to the other one. The cat's name is Tabby, and she is a robust little Tabby cat. Kind of a real original with their name. Yes. <laughs> Yes, the one he lost was Buffy, and this one is Tabby. And... <laughs> it's so sweet, though. You know, a lot of people, when they begin having problems finding their words and um, are, <laughs> you know, you, you kind of get some of that light dementia that, sets in you know he's, it's not bad but he he does have struggle for his words sometimes and the parkinson's bring some of this too and um a lot of times people get ornery he doesn't have an ornery bone in his body he is the sweetest most loving man ever oh yeah you quickly get him a spoon <laughs> he had some blue smoke words for the oh. for the rice with a fork. Yeah. <laughs> well, his hands shake, so yeah. Rice shakes right off the fork. Yeah, I can see where that would be a problem. <laughs> but he is the sweetest man. I just absolutely adore him. We love having him here. Yeah, I hear you, Kathy girl. I lose my words frequently these days have to really think about it and things I knew you know just off the cuff I've always been able to fact some things I've always been able to pull up it does get frustrating when you can't do that quite as easily but he is just a sweet loving gentle man such a gentle man two o'clock in the morning he's heading outside to find out who's disturbing the dog yes the other night when i came home first of all bryce goes to bed at 10 o'clock regular as clockwork not a night goes by that he doesn't head for bed at 10 o'clock unless something disturbs him like the fact that his wife hasn't come home from kelso yet and he's waiting for a call to say i'm on the way and that call is not coming and not coming and so he hangs out to see if perhaps I'm going to be here soon. So I call him from the road at what time was it? 10.30ish. 30 ish Yeah. And said, I'm on my way. And I was really, truly exhausted, <laughs> totally exhausted. So he talked with me on the phone until I pulled it into the driveway all the way home to get me home safe so I wouldn't fall asleep or do anything terrible. And then in the middle of the night, Teddy started getting sick. He'd had a little bit too much of Bob's dinner. <laughs> so Teddy started throwing up. So Bob or Bryce took him out to get that out of his system. And then I needed some stuff from the drugstore and I had a late night delivery coming from Walgreens and Teddy barked when the delivery driver got there and Bob thought something was after his dog. So Bob jumped up and headed outside. Now Teddy was in the bedroom. The reason he was barking is because he, he wanted to bark at the delivery person and he was trapped in the bedroom. He couldn't see to give this delivery driver what for. So he's in the bedroom barking and Bob got up and headed outside to see what was getting his dog. <laughs> so Price had to wrangle the dog, the delivery person and Bob and get everybody back where they were supposed to be. <laughs> Do you need a timeout, Annette? Did you need a timeout? <laughs> After a week of wrangling my mother, I could probably give you a timeout if you need one. 
<laughs> okay. There is a little itty bitty piece of something. I can't even tell what it is, but it was a punch out. It's going out. All right. Oh, we're all layered up and ready to go. Let's see what we're going to make now. <sighs> okay. Two of these are European A6 and one is a 5x7. We'll go ahead and make the 5 by 7 first since we are doing the 5 by 7s So we'll pull that at first. I just got put in timeout. You said, okay. Oh my gosh, Ruth, I was being poisoned from having reconstructive surgery. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Kathy girl. Wowzer. So you know exactly how tough my mom's medical condition has been. Oh my gosh. I'm always doing something to get put in time out in that says. <laughs> For some reason, I believe that's true, my friend. <laughs> I believe that's true. <laughs> Why? Because we're twins. <laughs> and I'm always doing something to get put in time out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go put my blue or my gold Mary on first. Oh my gosh, caught myself putting my purse in the fridge. Oh, oh my gosh. That's giving a whole new definition to cold cash, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's trim this. I just put my arm on it and bent my cardstock. We'll see if we can work around that. Two years ago. Well, you're doing great, Kathy, for having had such massive health condition two years ago. Okay, let's see. What's the best way to get these out of here? I think that I'm probably still going to be wanting to cut the end here. This paper trimmer is so much bigger than I'm used to. It's fine. It's, it just cuts like butter. It's beautiful. And if I got used to using it, this bigger one, that'd be great. It's just so much bigger than I'm used to. No timeouts, Betty says. The advantage of living alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to trim that a little bit extra because I have plenty of room to spare and I'd like to let a little more of my gold Mary show, I think. So I'm going to take just an extra little slice off each way so I have, yeah, just a little thicker border because that'd be pretty. <sighs> well, so was that surgery pretty rough on you, Ruth and Kathy? And do you have any advice? Wow. Still detoxing chronic fatigue. Made the body to joint pain disappeared four days after surgery. Wow. Wow. So this was really important for you to do, wasn't it, hon? Oh my gosh. Okay.
we've got our blue on, we've got our gold on. We gave ourselves a little bit extra wide borders this time, which I think looks beautiful. Let's get our layered up topper, just this one. And we have in our punch out sheet, we have this nice big, uh, a little something to brighten your day tag. Okay. Good to know. All right. And let's see. I did put the greeting on some foam squares, so I think I'll go ahead and do that again because that looks good. My sample. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Surgeon blast with antibiotics and caused me to be bedridden for a month because colitis was still sucking. Oh my gosh. No bad infection from the draining. See, that's one of the things I was worried about. One of the reasons I wanted to have my mom's drains and stuff checked well and, um, but it looks like so far, so good. Everything's going really well there. But um, James said he would come back up if I had any concerns at all about the drains or anything, so. It's so nice to have friends that are out there to be your support system, isn't it? You know, my online friends, my my, you know, local friends, my, even the friends that I talk to seldom, but you know, you're always close to, you just might not talk to as often. I talked to one of those recently and she's been a real support. And I stay away from doctors now. Oh, that's awesome. Mom had had breast cancer before, and I think one of the reasons breast cancer kind of got away from control this time was because of COVID and you couldn't get in for all the regular checks. And so I think that's one reason that the cancer kind of got away from us this time but it's no different with us than it is with millions of other people so it is what it is okay I got it to this point and I looked at this and thought it's really pretty but it needs something and that's when I decided these spring flowers and galoshes needed rain. So here comes the rain. Little raindrops. Just little raindrops. One of the things I thought about, I just didn't have any upstairs. Another one that would have been really, really cute on this for raindrops, guys, would have been the little clear hearts that we have from Dress My Crafts. Remember those little clear hearts? Wouldn't those have been just amazing? Wouldn't those just be amazing raindrops, the little clear hearts falling for, for raindrops? I think that would be spectacular. That one pulled off the adhesive.
just a few raindrops at the top. Now I'll let a few raindrops kind of fall down through the picture. Maybe even on the blossoms. Just a little bit of raindrops. Little raindrops. Falling, falling. You'll have plenty of raindrops in your kit. Brittany gave you a half sheet of these three millimeter AB stones to use on this one card. She said you had to have plenty of raindrops. If we're going to do rain, we had to have plenty of raindrops. So you have to have a little bit of pool of rain at the base. A little pool of water under the galoshes, don't we? I think we do. A little pool here at the bottom. A little pool. A little pool around the pots. It's, it's raining. I do think those clear hearts would have been fun for these raindrops too. I think those could have been really fun. We have plenty, plenty, plenty. This card's going to have more than my original because there's so many on this sheet. And I just feel like putting them on there. <laughs> Are you wasting water again? Am I wasting water? No, that's your dad's job. <laughs> this is one of the ways that Bob is so sweet. He has given himself some chores around the house to do. We didn't ask him to. He's just assigned himself some chores. So one of the things he does every night before he goes to bed is he goes around and picks up all Teddy's toys and puts them back in Teddy's toy boxes, which is really rather funny because at the same time he's putting them in, Teddy's selecting a new one and taking it out. So Bob goes back and forth and back and forth, picking up the toys and putting them in the toy box. And I always laugh at both of them and their antics because it's hysterically funny to watch them. And so <clears throat> that's one of the chores that Bob has given himself to do is toy box patrol. The other chore he has given himself to do is if there's dishes in the sink, he goes in and rinses them and stacks them up on the counter. Well, that's really, really nice. But we got a new dishwasher that you actually really, truly don't have to pre-rinse the dishes. I mean, we knock off the biggest stuff, but you really don't have to rinse the dishes anymore. So we told Bob that, but he just either doesn't remember it, doesn't hear it, or doesn't care. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what the answer is, but he goes in every night and rinses the dishes. Water running full blast, <laughs> and he rinses, and he rinses, and he rinses, and he rinses. And he's not fast at doing things, so 30 minutes later, with the water running full blast, he may still be rinsing dishes. And we don't want to call him down on it because he's trying to help. But he used to complain <laughs> that he and Bryce's mom had these huge water bills that they just couldn't understand why they had such a huge water bill. Now I know. <laughs> now I have the huge water bill. <laughs> so, yes, but he's helping. And he wants to help, and I don't want to stand in his way of being able to do that. We have lots of glimmer on this card. There's my rainy card. He is so sweet. We wouldn't offend him for anything in the world. So if he wants to rinse the dishes, God bless him. He, he will rinse the dishes. <laughs> oh, this, okay. All right. Next one up, let's get one of our, we're going to need, in fact, I'll just go ahead and put both on since I'm doing, don't need that. Um, I need both of my European A6 cards. And here are my gold mirrors. I'm going to put gold Mary 
on one of the two. I actually was going to do both, and then I realized I did one of them different. So I'll just do one. <laughs> He said he is the sweetest man you've ever met. He's just such a love. And his squirrels and his birds sometimes he'll be out there three times a day checking his squirrel feeders. He was used to being very, very busy at one time in his life, though. He always had 15 irons in the fire and was building something or working something over or rebuilding something or working on their house or, you know, he's always been a busy guy. So we try to find things he can do. But he does better finding things on his own that he kind of enjoys doing. Watching he and that dog, though, boy, that cracks me up. Totally cracks me up to watch he and that dog together. Okay, I'm going to go to three and seven eighths. Why? By five and five eighths long on my layer, and that's perfect. It looks great. Let's get this on here. Okay. I do have a little bit of tape sticking over the edge there. See right there? I'm going to cut that off because I don't want any adhesive over the edge. And I pull my tape away. Use my tape flags to get this down straight. Like that. Looks pretty good all the way around. Okay. Yep, it's just going to go where it is. I actually got it just a little uneven, but I'm going to leave it. Going to leave it. I do think because I got it a little uneven, even with my tape flags, isn't that annoying when you manage to do that? I don't know. I'm not liking this much. Do I want to do it over? Um, I need... A European A6 card. Actually, I can use the one I have here, but I need a an extra piece of gold in area too. I don't like the way I did this, guys, so I'm going to fix it by taking it apart. <laughs> I cut the front off my cardstock. I'm going to put a new piece of mirror board down on my card here. <laughs> the temptress is retail and craft therapy. Exactly. Exactly. Retail and craft therapy. So there you go. Okay. I'm going to put it, I'm just going back and recovering my card. I didn't like it. <laughs> it really was not a difficult card, and I still managed to get it uneven. So I am, and it's still off a little bit. I'm just not going to worry about it because I need to be nice to myself. So 
I'm going to, thank you, an European A6 card, please. I do. I'm going to take my blue that I already have. I'm going to find my center here. I'm going to put it back on this card, and it's going to look good. And nobody's going to know that I've messed up. Thank you. Okay. All right. I'm going to glue this just because I don't seem to be doing well with my centering right at the moment. And I want to make sure I can move it a little bit. I generally recommend against putting glue on mirror board, but sometimes we have to do what we have to do. And that looks fine now. I am. There we go. There we go. Okay, now I'm happier. It'll have an extra thick top, but... <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you just have to be nice to yourself, don't you, Catherine? So that's what I did. I just decided to be nice to myself and not beat myself up over it. So let's see. Next, I'm going to take this piece here. <laughs> okay. And I want this to be, it's actually going to be three and five eighths wide. So I have to, there is my switch on this one. Where's my light switch? I know it has a light switch. It does. Never use this term. There it is. Does it have batteries in it? No. Okay. Well, so much for that idea. All right. I'm going to take a little bit off of this edge because I don't think I can cut this as narrow as I want it to be without taking a little bit off that edge. So my first layer was three and seven eighths. This is going to be three and five eighths wide to get my boot layer. And it is now. And then my first layer length, my card is five and seven eighths. My first layer was five and five eighths. So this is going to be five and three eighths inch tall. Good night, Catherine. See you later, friends. Oh, that looks good. Okay, we got that there. Now, we are going to go back to our punch-out sheet, and we're going to take these corners that were developed to go with the ruffly edge one, and we're going to put those on this layer. And I'm going to put one. I'm actually going to put these on before I glue this down. Because it gives me a little bit more easier area to work without getting glue all over my base. So I'm going to put this up in here. I'm going to put this on this side. This one here. We're going to put this one here. And 
this one here. Doesn't that look pretty? Just to put those down around that other image now. I like that. I can put, go ahead and put this on here. And then we have to decide what we're going to do for a tag this time. We only have one tag left, but we do have a pretty border on here that says, From Me to You with Love. This card lays out just a little different than the last one. I'm not sure exactly why, but I don't worry about it. I'm going to get this From Me to You tag off here. <laughs> and from me to you with love I'm going to cut it right at the little dot you'll see what I mean when you have yours in your hand and there's a little dot after love and it makes a perfect little tag that I'm going to put on the top this time so let's glue this down. Time, hun? Four o'clock. It's four o'clock. We got one card left to assemble. It's going to be pretty easy. So we'll be done here in 15 minutes or so. Okay. We're going to put that with love from me to you. On here. I'm going to put it all on the top this time because I like it there. And there we go. A little different version than last time. All fine. Last time, this time. Okay. Let's do our last card. Here we go. This time, I'm going to cover my card with my glue paper. that for the most part it will will trim off most of the wrinkle on the corner and I put my elbow on it I think it's going to work out fine a little bit there, but mostly the um, card toppers can go over the top of it, so I think it's going to work out fine. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Welcome, friend. Okay. We're going to this time. I'm going to cut my mirror board down to three and seven eighths by five and five eighths and my mirror board is going to be the layer on top of my blue and that's why I said the fact that I had a little wrinkle at the top there wasn't going to matter because I'm covering it with my topper this time, I'm going to take this to create my layer, and I'm going to go to three and five eighths inch wide. So it's because it's my second layer, 
I'm going to go from seven, five, I'm going to go to five and three eighths for my length. Let's see how that looks. That looks perfect. So I'm going to glue this on here. Yeah, where is Mary R. tonight, I wonder? That's not like her to miss us. Hope everything's okay with hubby. Okay. Good night, Elsie. We'll see you hopefully next Saturday, friend. So glad your granddaughter's feeling better. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah, everybody was well by their granddaughter by last week. I believe her granddaughter was still in the hospital, but now she's fine. Okay. So layer that up. Just a little variation on what we normally do. This time we're putting the blue to the outside, the mirror board to the inside. I wanted this line here because that can become my wall and that kind of grounds and centers my center my image. So we're going to glue this down on there. I'm gonna catch some of those little edges out there that could bend back. under my bird and each of these little areas that wind in and out. Now it looks like my boots are standing against the wall. See that? Because that line creates a floor for me. Next, we're going to put our greeting. Oh, okay, good. All right. Well, I'm glad that's why she's gone. Okay. She just doesn't miss us normally. Okay. So we're going to clip this. We're going to put this here. Oops, that's a little, that's just a little feathery at the, that end. I'm going to use this end. I'm going to put my border down. Let's see, how wide was this again? Three and seven eighths, five eighths, three and three eighths. Let's just cut it. So it'll go on nicely. All right. Uh oh, that was not right. Well, boy, I'm full of them tonight, guys. Oh, but I don't need to really worry about it. I don't need to worry about it. I cut it too short, but I'm not going to panic because. I have a tag here <laughs> and I can rescue it. Hi, Thelma. I didn't know you were out there. Yep, I cut a little too short, but I'm not going to panic. I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to put this in from the other side. And now I'm going to put my happy birthday wishes on top because nobody will know but you, me, and 2,500 of our closest friends that there was a little boo-boo underneath there. So let's get some foam squares wherever they might be. Really? Really? This much stuff today, not even a full load, and I still managed to lose my foam squares. Well, you know what? I may just glue it down because that's what I'm inclined to do today. So, 
I'm just gluing it on there. Not gonna fight over that. Okay. Happiest birthday wishes. Goes right on. There we go. Here's this one. This one. If you want them to look a little bit more sparkly, you can always do the stickles on them. Check the floor. That's probably exactly where they are, Kathy, girly girl. All right. There we go. We're done. Five cards. Two hours and 15 minutes. Thereabouts. Two hours and 20 minutes. Two hours and six minutes. Two hours and six minutes. I put the last one together in six minutes. Okay. Let's take a look at what we're going to do next week. I believe Brittany has the kit out there now. This is my Easter kit. I don't have Margie's cards for next week, for next Thursday yet. So I don't know what to do to show you those. But I will show you my... Oh, did she did? Oh, good. Okay, so you've seen them. I just haven't. Okay, this is the beginnings of my Easter. There's that one. I love this one. This is my fave. What are the backgrounds, the white? These are from, from Duty. They used to be from Lomiac, so they might be labeled either way. These are from Duty, and they're pre, they're laser cut background layers that you just layer onto your card and then you layer your stuff on there. Isn't it cute? So uh, these are from these are the relief stickers these are a very textured sticker i'm not sure if you can see it there these are thick like chipboard they're not chipboard they're actually kind of a really flexible material but they're called relief stickers they're from our friends at hardy crafts they're the same ones that make our hardy craft toppers and they're beautiful beautiful so this is our um, these are called Easter wreaths. I think that's what they're called, the Easter wreath series. They're relief stickers, and then I'm using them with my Lomiac, or um, also known as Duty, um, laser cut backgrounds, and then cardstock from Adorable Scorable. And believe it or not, the packaging from the back of these relief stickers. <laughs> you guys like to save money, so do I. And so we spare, we don't throw away anything we can use. So there we go. In this, well, I'll, I'll tell you about how I did this later. But here we go. So there's two. Speaking of Margie, in she walks with her cards for Thursday. Here's our next wreath. This is number three for next week, our little chick in the wreath. Here's our lamb. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, so cute. And these laser cut backgrounds are so easy to use. Um, we have several styles of these relief stickers out there. They're not getting a lot of attention, but as you can see, they're colorful, beautiful. They are dimensional. You're going to love them. So give those a try if you haven't tried those yet. Um, let me finish the wreath, then we'll look at the others. Here's another wreath. I love this butterfly one. Isn't that rich and pretty? you Grace that's good so these relief stickers are beautiful really beautiful don't hesitate to try those guys they're gorgeous they're from the very same people that make our okay so that's six of the wreaths which is the number we should have here are the second sheet is all chicks 
Here's my first chick card. Aren't they sweet? Colors are so Aren't they beautiful? I think they're beautiful too. Just the chick. Notice the little chick background paper. You'll get that in your kit. You get all the background papers. You're going to get 12 cards out of this kit. Their Easter kit. We'll do them next Saturday. You get all of the laser cut toppers, the laser cut card layers. You get all the relief stickers, two full sheets of relief stickers. You get all of the colored Happy Easter stickers. I think you get silver, pink, and you get a full sheet, I believe, of the Happy Easter purple. There should be six in total. It didn't look like enough, but you know they're there. Six of those. So you get 12 cards in total. So once again, in your kit, you're going to get, we're going to get 12 cards out of our kit. You're going to get all of the um, European A6 on 300 GSM cardstock. You're going to get two sheets of these relief stickers. You're going to get the adorable, scorable um, card layers that I've used in the backgrounds. You're going to get these pretty seasonal papers that we're using for layering. You're going to get those. And we're going to make 12 cards. And actually, we won't have any trouble getting 12 cards done in less than probably about two and a half hours next week. 12 cards. And they're so, so cute. If you're wanting to send cards out to a group, this is a quick and easy way to get a beautiful number of cards done quickly and easily. Oops, that one's upside down. He's flying the coop. <laughs> and um, you get everything to make these. I'm just loving them. They were really fun to make, super fun to make, actually. And it was fun to work with a little different material with these relief stickers. So there you go. Great fun. All right, this is next Saturday. Margie's here with her Thursday cards. What are we using for Thursday, Margie? Oh, um, you're doing the stamping or decoupage? A mix of stamping and decoupage. This is from In the Forest. Mm -hmm. No, this Blue is Bells from Bluebells and Buttercups. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Thursday night, Bluebells and Buttercups. Super cute. Six by six. Oh, look it. We have a rocker card. That is also a shaker card. And we have, oh, so cute. We have the Bluebells and Buttercups donkey. Now, where's the stamping? Is that? That is the stamp. That's this hard. is the stamp. OK. All right. Super cute. Three cards for next Thursday, Bluebells and Buttercups. Um, your kit will be up Tuesday? No, Wednesday, probably. Yeah. Well, my goal is to have it up until Tuesday. <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. So there we go. That's what Margie's working on. I absolutely adore this donkey. I just think this donkey is just too, too, too cute. Yeah, that's really cute with that. So you got little butterflies and little octagons or something in there. Yeah, hexagons. Okay. Really cute. That's next Thursday. Do you guys have any questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom for me before I... It's just an inspiration. Oh, okay. Margie has one inspiration card. This will not be included in your kit, but it's super cute. <laughs> 
Okay. So any questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom before we get away for the day, guys? You awake out there? <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. I really do appreciate your continued prayers for mom, too. Like I said, the fact that she knows that you're praying and the fact that she believes in the power of that, it's helping her a lot. So thank you for that. And if there are no further questions and comments, hit that thumbs up button if you would. Where are we, honey, right now with thumbs up? Oh, okay. I know we have more viewers than we have thumbs up, so hit that thumbs up button if you would, please. And if you're not already a viewer and you're watching, welcome. I'm happy you're here. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode of what we're up to. We have fun stuff coming up every single week. We're here for you. So hit that, that subscribe button and join us. And you're always welcome to hang out and just watch. But if you want to come in and join us, just sign in and chat with us too. We love that too. I will check email, Roberta. I absolutely will. Okay. So if there are no questions, comments, and pearls of wisdom, Margie will be with you here on Wednesday for What's New Wednesday. She'll be here Thursday for Thursday night class. And I will be back next Saturday at 2 o'clock. And we will see you then. Good night, Gracie. <laughs>